my name is Carolina. I'm a second year, well, I'm going into second year, I'm studying history and international relations, and I'm the president of Mary's Meal Society. So essentially, it's a society focused on food poverty, and it aims to feed children around the world. I think we're working in 19 different countries right now. Um, so the way it works is um, we raise money and volunteers in um, different countries will serve out the food in schools and it will be made from local um, local people's kind of resources. So there's, for example, there's a lot of porridge, um, a lot of rice, a lot of crops that are local, which means that we're not shipping things over from here. And it also means we're funding local farmers Um as well as feeding children. I was kind of looking for charity um, societies to get involved with and Mary's Meals just kind of came up in first year and I had never heard of it before. And I did a bit of research into it and I was like, oh yeah, this sounds good. And I applied um, for secretary and I became secretary. And then as the year progressed, I just kind of realized exactly how important it is. And I'm re like, is, I think it's really disappointing that a lot of people haven't heard of it. So would ideally like to spread it quite a lot. It's quite close knit. Um, I think it would ideally we're looking forward to expanding um, this year because we don't we don't have a subcommittee right now because of COVID. So currently we're a relatively small committee with quite a few members, um, but it, it's it's a good community. We have weekly meetings. Um, something I've really been trying to push as president um, is in a few months I've been president anyway is the kind of relationship between us all because and I think it has really made such a difference you it makes such a difference being friends with the people you're working with um, and I think it's just everyone looks forward to meetings a lot more um, people feel less afraid about voicing their ideas than if we didn't really know each other um, and I think overall it makes for a more effective society and it's it's just it's a nice atmosphere I think yeah so the way it interacts with local communities is a lot of people in um, the countries where Mary's Meals works will have will have heard of us and we have volunteers who help make the food in schools um, and essentially we just kind of um, like with the teachers and the students we just make sure that there's an understanding of what's going on um, the students get one meal a day which is so students get breakfast, which is obviously not ideal. Ideally, they'd be getting three meals a day, but like we'd be able to provide that. But for some students, that one meal is the only meal they're going to be getting at all. Um, so if we can provide that every school day, um, that really does have an impact on their wider community. We interact with other Mary's Meal Societies in Scotland quite a lot. So, for example, there's, um, there's Miles for Mary's Meals, which is something where you compete against other Mary's Meal Societies um, to raise the most money, which is kind of nice because it, it it gets you involved with other societies in Scotland. And then when you like kind of go to the wider society, there's a representative, her name's Sally, she's very lovely. Um, she works with Mary's Meals. She's the kind of connection between the St Andrew Society and the official Mary's Meal Society. I don't think there's ever been a point where I felt isolated or like I've not known what's going on in the wider society. So there's a classic called Porridge Week, um, which is essentially when you go a week um, only eating things such as porridge and rice. Um, I am quite looking forward to that, actually. Um, I just, I think it's, it's usually a very effective way of raising money, first of all. And also I'm just, I'm looking forward to seeing how it goes. Um, I think it would also be an eye opener for people and I'm looking forward to trying to get more people involved in it rather than just the committee members which I think it usually is um, but then obviously aside from that I'm just looking forward to some of the more social stuff as well and getting to know the members of our society for example I was thinking of doing cookie decorating at Christmas or pumpkin carving at Halloween um, those kind of things could be really cute the world is not a great place as is kind of obvious and I feel like if you're in the position to be able to help just help prove it slightly you should because nothing's no no one's in a perfect situation so you know you might be for example here in you know here in the UK we are fortunate enough to be in the position to help other countries struggling with food poverty which is something that although individuals might struggle with it in the UK it's not a widespread problem um, so we should be doing our best to try and help that for other countries who are less fortunate in that respect there are so many different things that if everyone just kind of put 
put some of their effort into helping in some way I do think the world could be improved so much more than than it is right now. I'm uh, Angela Nathan I'm the um, founder and president at the moment and yeah, my role is basically coordinating the society with the students union and um, coordinating the executive committee as well. Hi I'm Ollie I'm vice president of the society I kind of take on a similar role as Angela in kind of in kind of organising the, the society and liaising with everyone and partaking in all the events which we organise with the society. Hello, my name is Rebecca and I'm a member of Action Against Homelessness Society and I try and support the society wherever I can in any tasks that we undertake. Yeah, so our society has recently uh, formed, so we formed last year in November, kind of as as a small group in kind of an effort to raise awareness and homelessness as kind of code has improved we're kind of looking for much forward into the future and kind of planning stuff to to have an impact on the community and help people people who are struggling with homelessness in the community i personally got involved because i thought it would be really important to tackle something that's a problem across several communities in scotland and it's also really nice to be in the society sharing um, knowledge and meeting like-minded people, which is also important for making friends. With this society, you do have a wider impact on the community and you can make a difference to the wider community and have that impact and leave a, a, a positive footprint after you've been in St Andrews. So it's about kind of having a positive impact and, and making a genuine difference in the community you're part of and kind of appreciating that especially as a student when you when you're not really in a place for that long you you you, you kind of you kind of want to make as much of an impact as possible and i feel like with with the action against homeless society you can do that yeah and i think for me like completely the same as um becca and ollie um i just wanted to give back to the community here and beyond even if it was just in a small way i didn't know how much i'd be able to contribute in my short time here and with covid but yeah, it's also been really good socially as well. And it's a really nice atmosphere where we know that we're sort of leaving a good legacy, hopefully, for the next uh, year groups. And then hopefully they'll be able to make an impact as well. Yeah, so in, in terms of kind of our our podcast, which we've kind of which we've kind of brought on since the start of the society, we're kind of talking to people who do have impacts within homelessness, within St Andrews and beyond. So in the most recent one we had, we had the MP for North East Fife and we spoke about homelessness within St Andrews and kind of like the wider community and how it can be tackled as a student and kind of as a whole collective. We've had a joint event with the Women for Women International Society a movie night so that was really good both our society members could join. We've had a lot of people uh, reach out through social media so we interact through um, DMs and things like that and yeah we're hoping to do more events going forward. I'm very excited for the fundraising events when we're able to go and volunteer um, in um, just um, kitchens and places around, um, maybe in Edinburgh. Yeah, I'll be really, I'm quite excited about that. And um, there was this idea that was um, talked about right at the start of um, our affiliation, which was to um, basically um, work with a local taxi service and um, just see if they would be willing to help. Maybe we could. Um, pay them um, something and they would be able to maybe take people who are trying to get jobs to their interviews or to where they want to work. So I'm excited to see if we can develop that a bit more. Um, not so much an event, but more, a, I guess, just initiative. I think in terms of like an overall ethos, I think, I think all the people involved within the society are extremely enthusiastic and it's kind of, and, and the kind of, the the commitment to being part of a society which is helping people and the wider community is kind of like-minded so that so there's kind of enthusiastic motivated people who all want to make a difference to like to, within St Andrews as well as the wider community as long as you're enthusiastic and motivated you're more than welcome to join. The world is so much bigger than just ourselves and I think it's it's going to be a very like valuable a part of the university experience for freshers just because they'll be able to get to know people or get to know the St Andrews community and it's good for probably getting a better understanding of the issues that uh, people are facing around the world and where we are right now um, but also um, 
I just think it's really going to benefit people. Um, we're here to have a good time, so why not sort of pay it forward and also improve somebody else's situation as well? Um, hello, I'm Joe. Um, I'm a fourth year studying IR at um, obviously St Andrews. Um, I'm the president um, for this next year coming of St Andrews um, Food Bank Collection Society. Um, the society we collect and we organise collections um, of food and other non-perishable goods um, for the local food banks. So I initially got involved, um, actually seems like quite a long time now, back in my first year with, um, so Jamie Rodney um, was in my halls um, and he literally just set up a box um, with food bank collection written on it. Um, and I thought that sounds like a good idea. Um, so my sort of background I come from, um, I've seen, you know, sorts of food poverty um, dotted about um, and it's really just a blight on society. We really shouldn't be having food poverty um, in this day and age in a sort of really sort of advanced country, one of the richest countries on earth. People shouldn't really be going hungry. Um, so, yeah, it's just something we can do something about, if that makes sense. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's something that doesn't require a great effort. Um, it's something that's really accessible to everyone. Um, to actually get involved with and make a difference. Yeah, so St. Candrews has quite, um, obviously by its very nature, we have quite a uh, main purpose is working with the local food banks. So um, in previous years, we've worked with um, St. Andrew's Storehouse Food Bank um, at St. David Centre on Albany Park and also Cooper Food Bank. Um, this next year, we're hoping to actually work wider. So with Anstra, the food banks as well. Um, and yeah, so essentially that is our core, is interacting with the community. Um, we have um, collection points dotted about town as well, um, so people can interact with those. Um, just if you are watching and you're wondering where you can donate, um, if it's all right for me to say. Um, so there are collection points at Nationwide and Sainsbury's on Market Street and also at Morrison's um, on Lago Road um alternatively if you're in one of our halls of residence that has a collection point um you can put it there or you can message our facebook page and mm -hmm. we will we can come and actually just pick up stuff off of off you and uh, and um, take it take it to the food bank for you that is brilliant um so we haven't obviously like most societies we haven't really had much of a social side um for the past year for obvious reasons that i'm not gonna not gonna, not gonna bring up um but uh like we all sort of get on there's no sorts of like internal rivalries or anything like that um we are literally it's quite a close-knit group of society so we are quite a small society in terms of committee size um but i think that benefits us you know we, we all really get on um you can literally in our sort of group chat if you need help with anything literally um you can just put a message in and someone will help you um, we also have an amazing team of volunteers, um, a wider group of volunteers that are just um, willing and able to sort of help out with ferrying stuff across town. Um, St. Andrews really is a team effort, um, although I'm sort of like doing this interview here as, as the president and stuff like that, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's we do really have a really amazing team. So when St. Andrews first started, one of the events we did was a pub night with um, some staff members from the local food bank so it, it sort of it wasn't just students seeing students if that makes sense um, mm -hmm. it was um, you know you got to see an actual member of a food bank and could talk to you about experiences and how it works and stuff like that and that was really good and obviously there was a couple of pints had as well as so that was always a bonus mm -hmm. so essentially we have I think we have anyway a moral duty to do it students are you know, we have, uh, you know, spare time on our hands. Um, usually um, we're bright, we're committed, we're hardworking and we can use that for good. So we should essentially. Um, charities and volunteering, um, really important causes, um, not just St. Andrews, but there's there's lots, obviously there's lots of uh, important causes out there. Um, and yeah, just something we can put our mind to and again, just make a difference. We can, so we should. So my name's Ola. Um, I'm a fourth year student here studying maths um, and I'm currently co-president of Effective Altruism St Andrews um, with our wonderful co-president um, Anna Kassar.
so I guess maybe there's like two parts to this. So the first part is um, what is effective altruism trying to do as a whole. Um, I think the simple answer behind that is that effective altruism is trying to answer the question of, you know, given some resources, so time or money, um, how can we do the most good possible? Um, so it's about trying to answer that question. Obviously, that's a really difficult question to answer. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like what the community does as a whole. And in terms of what we do, we do uh, effective altruism St Andrews. Um, so we run an introductory program um, to kind of get people up to speed with these ideas. Um, and we do career planning sessions to help people plan careers to, you know, if they, if they want to do good with their careers, how can they, what kind of things can they do? Um, yes, yeah, so we run career planning sessions. Um, we run discussion groups, uh, community dinners, um, that kind of thing. So I first got involved, it was just like a chance meeting. Um, I was just kind of like going through Fesher's Fair as um Hopefully people get a chance to see next year because um, obviously I haven't been able to the last few years. Um, and yeah, I think I just got talking to one of the people at the store um, and it sounded really interesting. Um, it was just, I just really enjoyed being able to talk to people about these kind of issues who are really interesting. So yeah. So we're a relatively small society, um, which I think is really nice because it means that you kind of get to know everybody else really well within the community. Um, yeah, so obviously last year was difficult because of coronavirus and everything like in, in terms of like having socials or whatever um but we still managed to run like online socials um and yeah so and we still have like discussion groups so people can't get to like know each other within the society the thing that like sets us apart is that we are quite small and that you do get to have like a lot of a lot of like meaningful discussions like with lots of people in a society which i think is like yeah that kind of like one-on-one -on -one aspect is like yeah i think is maybe a bit different to other societies so effective altruism is like it's not just a thing in St Andrews it's like part of a wider um, community um so, yeah, so there are tons of like there are always tons of online events um with other like effective altruism groups where you can like go and like have a chance to talk to these other groups um but yeah, and obviously like online's great and all um but it's like great to be able to like when coronavirus finishes hopefully there'll be a chance to kind of do more like in-person meetups um so for example before coronavirus um I got to go to the um, a retreat down in the Cotswolds, I think, um, for like future group organisers, um, and it was like really great just to be able to like meet all these other like yeah, or, or, like lots of other people involved in effective altruism like from around the UK, and I think there'll be hopefully some running next year, um, which people can get involved with, um, and yeah, and there's also like um, effective altruism global, which is like a larger like conference, um, which we encourage people to attend. At the start of the year we'll be having um, our like introductory lectures um, so just to like kind of give people a chance to kind of know more about what effective altruism is. Um, but I think the the reason that that's like cool is um, because it leads to our like speak program. Um, so our speak program is one each semester um, and it's just like it's a way to for people who don't know anything about effective altruism at all who want to kind of think more about how they can yeah, about ways that they can do good in the future. Yeah, for people who want to start thinking about this, um, it's an eight week program that we run with discussion groups and one on one sessions. Um, yeah, and that was always like, I know that our members always find that like really helpful and it's like a really good way of like getting involved with the community. So I, I think even like a personal level, like I've like, like just from like a selfish point of view, like I've, I really enjoy getting involved with these kind of things. And yeah, I think it's just, until to look back and like feel that you've like look back on university time and like feel that you've like made an impact I think is like really great um yeah I think also because university is such like a great time to you know meet new people and meet kind of like yeah like learn new things I think it's just a really great opportunity to be able to think about what you want to do like later in your life and yeah just kind of get like talking to interesting people and thinking of ways that you can help now and later just i think it's like a really great opportunity to do that my advice for an incoming fresher is to try and sign up to as many opportunities as they can um st andrews is such a special place with so many different unique diverse opportunities available and being part of numerous communities broadening your social network is really important and makes um, your time here really special. Just speak to as many people as you can, you'll definitely find the right people for you. 
and go out and do things obviously not when it's illegal but um yeah go out experience things go to cafes there's so many nice places here go to the beach do like go swim in the sea just try all of the things that are a bit outside of your comfort zone will make the experience just amazing being able to come to a town like St Andrews uh, yeah uh, I think the most important thing is just to make the most of it and, and uh, I think more importantly enjoy it as well obviously there's like there's like find that balance between like you know doing your studies and like getting involved with like the wider student community um but yeah I think the, the thing that I've learned more and more is like later like since I've been like through the years here is just how many opportunities there are here if there's something you're interested in or if, if anything sounds like remotely interesting I think it's just like it's just almost always a good idea to like give it a go and see what happens. Well, I would say um, join St. Andrews and help out St. Andrews, but um, just in general, um, I would say just throw yourself into anything. Um, literally do not be worried about what people are going to think or, or anything like that. Um, literally just throw yourself in. You will find something that you can really get your, your teeth stuck into. Check out Facebook pages as well. Facebook pages are a great um, place to find sort of events and things like that the first month the first two months they might be brilliant or they might not be brilliant but it if it's not what you expect it honestly isn't going that's not representative of your whole uni career I did stick it out and now I'm so grateful I'm loving it so much I've made the best friends I'm loving my societies um and just want you to know that it's not it's not just you you know other people will be in the same situation and if you need to drop someone in an old year a message um drop me a message my email is ckla1 at st andrews um but just you got this and it's it might be hard but it'll be worth it yeah